Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am pretty excited about today's video. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I am really excited about today's video. That's a much more accurate statement because I just got my March Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes Ultimate Magic Box in the mail. I have absolutely been loving the subscription service. They have the most beautiful packaging. They have some of the most beautiful and premium items of anything I've seen in Disney subscription boxes as of late. And I have loved every single box that I've received so far. I think this is my fourth box or maybe my fifth box from Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes, but they've all been amazing. I will link to all my Bibbidi Bobbidi unboxings down below so you can watch some other ones if you want. But right now, I'm gonna jump into my March 2019 box. Unfortunately, the box got a little bit beat up in the mail, which is too bad because the packaging is so beautiful that I, I usually keep these boxes to like stash various Disney things in. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice this box this month. But other than that, I haven't really opened it besides like peeking into this little hole. So I'm gonna open it for you right now. This is the Ultimate Magic Box, which is their largest monthly subscription offering. But they do have several other sizes of boxes at various price points. So you can go and browse their website and kind of check it all out. But this is the Ultimate Magic Box. It's the biggie. It always includes like one designer item. So I'm really excited to see what that is. And and here is my first look at this month's box. So it's covered in beautiful oops, purple tissue so there's no peeking. That thing that just slid off I think is my packing slip. So here is the packing slip for March. It features uh, Chip and Dale and they are dressed as little St. Patrick's Day leprechauns. Uh, just a heads up, these usually ship toward the end of the month. So I think today that I'm filming is April is it April 2nd? Today's April 2nd. Um, and I think I got this maybe like a couple days ago. So I did not get it in time for St. Patrick's Day. They usually ship toward the end of the month. And I usually show my unboxings at the beginning of the next month, if that makes sense. That was a lot of talking. Anyway, this is the packing slip. It has spoilers of everything that's inside and their retail value. So I will open this last. There is also this cute little card, which features some of the animals from Cinderella. And it says, happy spring and happy unboxing. The flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all so that's kind of a nice little springy message so yay exciting and then the contents of the box are covered in beautiful purple tissue and they are sealed shut by a bibbidi bobbidi boxes exclusive sticker so i will open that up everything's clanking around here oh my gosh okay and i'm seeing my like signature designer-ish item right on the very top of everything so usually i would save this for last but i Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is probably gonna be like the star of the entire box, but I'm just gonna go for it first. I'm so excited. This is so beautiful in person. Um, this is a mini backpack by the brand Loungefly. Loungefly recently came out with so many incredible, like really fancy, high-end looking, Disney-inspired mini backpacks. They're really trendy. They're all over social media right now. And this is the Woody one from Toy Story. It's gorgeous. I actually spotted this backpack on my last trip down to Disney World a few weeks ago. It was hanging in the uh, Toy Story Land section of one of the big gift shops in Hollywood Studios. I loved just the design of this bag. I thought this bag was super incredible and amazing. Let me give you a quick close-up. I already know this is gonna be the star item of this box, y'all, so I'm not saving the best for last like I sometimes do, but holy moly, just the details is incredible. You've got the belt buckle and the little like uh, cowskin vest and the Sheriff Woody badge, like a little piece of hardware on your bag. It's so cute. And then you've got um, some long adjustable straps on the back. You've even got his little holster on the side and then there are two zippers on the top and the bag just unzips and let's see what the lining is oh my gosh even the lining is adorable it's like very uh, cowboys wild west cactuses I guess cacti and uh, boots and hats uh, lining it's so super cute and then in the front there is an extra pocket to put you know your small things uh, in the front there's actually like a there's a this thing inside. Woo. Get that out. Yeah, so actually this pocket in the front is quite, um, quite spacious as well, considering that it's a mini backpack. Holy moly, I am in love with this. I cannot wait to wear this at Toy Story Land and at Pixar Pier on my next Disney trip. I just think it's so darling. Like this is very like 
Disney bound worthy. Like I feel I need to grab like a little denim skirt and some cowboy boots and put on some Toy Story-ish ears and like wear this around Toy Story Land and Pixar Pier. In fact, I feel like a change of ears is coming on right now. And it just so happens that I have the perfect ears in my ear collection um, for this bag. They're actually like woody Toy Story themed ears. They match my backpack and I'm totally gonna Disney bound as Woody or Jesse or both of them at once. Uh, this is by Loungefly. I think these are running around like $69.50 or something. They're very, very expensive little bags, which is kind of why I probably wouldn't be able to pull the trigger myself, but I'm glad that Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes did it for me because, oh my gosh, this is like a new favorite item of mine, period. And I have a lot of items, so that's saying a lot. Okay, now that I think we got the biggie out of the way and we got a costume change and everything out of the way, let's see what else is in my box this month. Uh, I'm gonna pull out something that is wrapped. It's wrapped up in bubble wrap. It doesn't feel particularly heavy, but it is wrapped as if it were something fragile. So let's see what we have. Item number two. Oh my gosh, this is Toy Story as well. I wonder if I'm gonna get a themed box. Sometimes Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes themes their boxes like they always try to match your preferences but then if they feel like they can make an actual theme out of your preferences they sometimes do that which i think is amazing and if this box ends up being like a themed box this is kind of my first my first one from them that's themed but holy moly it's an amazing toy story turvis tumbler i'm not sure i've noticed this one before i bet they have this in the parks but i personally haven't seen it before but let me get close to my camera and show you this cute thing so it says Disney Pixar Toy Story, and then you've got Woody and Buzz and some stars, and you've got Bullseye the Horse and Rex and the little green aliens and Jesse. This is adorable, and I love the bright, cheerful yellow um, lid. This is very springy and summery, and it's perfect for like my iced coffee or an iced tea or some water or um, whatever I'm drinking. And I love that so far this box has a theme to it. And now that I'm spotting what's next in my box, I'm pretty sure there is a distinct Toy Story theme to this box. And I'm so giddy uh, because the next thing I'm seeing is actually a slinky dog item. It's actually a slinky dog, uh, I think like a little wallet, like a little coin purse or mini wallet or pouch. It is also a lounge fly item. On the front you can see Mr. Slinky Dog he looks a little bit stylized and then his slinky goes all the way around to the side and ends on the back with his uh, butt and his springy tail. This is so cute and then it just zips open and inside there's um, some stuffing to keep it shape but the lining are the little um, Toy Story clouds which I also love. This is perfect. I'm totally gonna put this inside of my Woody mini backpack and I will be like super Toy Storied out. I'll be all decked out in Toy Story land and I'm obsessed. This is so so cute. Great item. Slinky is definitely one of my favorite Toy Story characters mostly because I just love his ride so much. I love that Slinky Dog Dash ride. That has like a special special place in my heart. Not everybody thinks it lives up to the hype but I just think it's so much fun and I think that his voice is so funny. He's like I'm Slinky Dog and hang on to your hats and glasses because this is the wildest ride in Andy's backyard and he's so dang cute. I love me some Slinky so I did not know that that wallet existed but I'm happy to have another Slinky in my little Slinky collection and I do actually have a bit of a Slinky Dog collection y'all. I've got some pins and I got some toys and I got some earband, headband thing that looks really weird on but is really cute. I, I really do love my slinky. The next thing I'm pulling out of my Bibbidi Bobbidi box is a kind of a mini itty bitty Bibbidi Bobbidi box and this is actually a separate subscription. I think this is called their Sparkle subscription. It's very inexpensive and it consists of stickers and sometimes little magnets and they're really cute so I'm going to pause my regular box because I think there's still at least one more thing in there and just show you my sticker subscription for the month really quick. I love Disney stickers and I love Disney magnets. I've got a whole bunch of Disney magnets on my uh, file cabinet back here. So I've been really enjoying the little like sparkle thing. Like if some month you can't afford the big box but you still wanna get a little bibbidi bobbidi in your mailbox, bibbidi bobbidi mailbox. I'm such a dork. Um, then you can do the little sparkle subscription and it's still super cute. So inside this little uh, Ziploc baggie, I will show you what came this month. 
The first sticker is a Lion King sticker. You've got Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa, and it says Hakuna Matata. I've been on a little bit of a Lion King kick lately. It hasn't historically been like my favorite, but I'm excited about the live action film. Next up is this sticker, which I think is going to end up being my favorite from this month. This is a mashup of the Hercules muses and Disney villains. So we have dressed up as the Hercules uh, muses, this the singing uh, goddesses. We have Cruella, Mother Gothel, Maleficent, Yzma, and Ursula, and they're all like in their togas, and they're all rocking it out. This is hilarious. I really do love this one. This could be my fave. Then we have a cute kind of fun summery nautical sticker. You know I love nautical things, and I also love the word nautical, but it's Mickey with Duffy Bear, and they both have their sailor hats on. It's very Disney Cruise line, or, or very kind of, I don't know, like July, like cruise season, or even resort season looking. I like that. And then in addition to the stickers, there's not one, but two magnets this month. So this month's magnets are Daisy Duck in ice cream cone form. You can see it's got a little magnetic backing on it. And Birthday Mickey Mouse. This actually matches my filing cabinet. So I'm going to put these on my like little Disney magnet collection behind me. And these are super cute. I do love this little sparkle subscription. And now back to our regularly scheduled Bibbidi Bobbidi unboxing. I think there are two things left in my box this month. And the next one I will show you, I think, is a small shop item. I believe this is a button from Park Bound Buttons. I'm a fan of Park Bound Buttons and I have been for years. And this also has a Toy Story theme to it. And it's actually um, it's actually the Little Green Aliens, which are, are some of my other favorite Toy Story characters. They're so funny and I don't know, they've definitely become kind of iconic and they have like their own kind of cult following fan base. I'm not too culty about the Little Green Aliens, but I do love them. And here is the button. You've got the aliens in a convertible car. I think it's the Barbie car, isn't it? from Toy Story 3, 2, 3, I think 3. It says, get in, we're going to Toy Story Land, uh, which I love. That is adorable, and they look fantastic. So I'm going to probably wear this around uh, the parks on my upcoming trip as well. I think it's so super cute. And the final item in this month's Bibbidi Bobbidi box is also little green alien themed, and it is a pair of Disney Parks socks. There's a little sticker that says this is an exclusive Disney Parks item, meaning you can only apparently get these in the parks, although sometimes Shop Disney picks these up as well, you never know. Um, but these are adorable and you've just got a whole bunch of little green aliens all over these socks. And here's just a quick close-up of these guys. They're very adorable and some of them have their little mouths open because they're probably saying, ooh, the claw. Super cute pair of socks. I loved that box. I loved the theminess of it. I really like themey things because I'm obsessed with some very specific theme parks. Like, gee, Becca, do you think you like themey things? Yes, I guess that's very obvious <laughs> from the content of my channel. But oh my gosh, I love the theming of this box. It's not hard for me to pick a favorite item. My favorite item from this box was easily my Woody Mini Backpack by Loungefly. I just think this is gorgeous. It looks expensive. I mean, they are expensive, but it looks like fancy. It looks like high-end Disney to me. I just think it's so cute and amazing and I will like cherish this forever and this is definitely coming on my next trip with me. And my other favorite thing was the Slinky Dog wallet because I love Slinky and because it's gonna go great in my backpack. So these are my two faves but everything was fantastic. I love those little green aliens. I love the stickers and I love that little Tervis tumbler. So everything was super. Let's just take a quick peek now at the packing slip and see what the value of this box is. It's got everything itemized and the prices are kind of listed out. And then it says the total retail value of my box was $126.88. The box is I think like $119, so you always get the value that you paid and then usually uh, a little extra and it's so well curated and some of the items are exclusive to small shops or exclusive to the parks. So I think this is an amazing, amazing subscription box. It would make a great gift because it's so well curated. And I'm just a huge fan. I love their packaging. I love all the attention to detail. And the ladies who put it together are super lovely human beings and the customer service is also great. So obviously I'm a huge fan of Bibbidi Bobbidi 
boxes. If you'd like to give Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes a try, I do have a coupon code for you that will allow you to save $7 off of your first box, so that makes the value even greater. I will leave that information in my description box down below. And yeah, as always, I'm tickled, I'm delighted, I love my backpack, I love these ears. These are by Magic Mouse Ears. And by the way, people ask me all the time where I got my ears, and if I got my ears from a place other than the Disney parks, I always link my ear shops down below as well. So if you're wondering where my ears are from, look down below. These are Magic Mouse ears, but they're they're always listed down there. Okay, that was a lot of talking and a lot of excitement. So I'm gonna hang up this video and head to the gym and burn off some of my crazy Toy Story kid-like energy. I have to go to the gym frequently because otherwise I would just explode. So that is what I'm going to do now. But what I would love for you to do now is leave a comment down below and let me know which item from this box was your favorite. Also, let me know which of those stickers or magnets was your favorite. I am kind of obsessed with this um, Muses and Villains mashup, but let me know that down below as well. And if you have any questions or you wanna chit chat, that's it's all happening down in the comment section. So that's all from me for today. I just keep talking and talking. I gotta calm down. It's like I start these unboxing videos on a somewhat even keel and then I take things out of the box and then as I do it, I get more and more amped up and then I'm like spinning around, ouch, on the ceiling by the end. So sorry if I freaked anyone out. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching clicking, commenting, subscribing, all the things. I will be back very soon with more Disney videos for you. And until then, have a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye guys. Mwah.